In this video, I am going to show you the best defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about becoming a better better Madden player. So if you're looking to become a better Madden player alongside of me, um, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. Most of you that are want to watch this video have not yet subscribed to the channel according to my analytics. So please do me a favor and do yourself a favor and click that subscribe button so that you can get these videos every single day that will help you become a better player in this game. Okay, guys, so I get a lot of questions about defense. I actually got a lot of questions in the last week or so about defense, and I want to talk a little bit about why um, this defense is so good. So what I'm going to do is, and I want, to, I want to talk about why it's so good, and then I want to talk about what you can do to make it even better. So really quickly here, I'm just going to kind of reset everything here like it normally would be. So if you, if you jump in here, the first thing I want to start with is coaching adjustments. These are the coaching adjustments that I would recommend people start a game with. Obviously, if there's certain things that come up in the game, for example, if they're running an out route or a, a lot and they're not running a corner route a lot, you might want to back your zone drops off to 15 yards as opposed to 25. So that's what I mean by that. But anyways, let's take a look here at auto um, or the uh, coaching adjustments. And um, coaching adjustments, auto flip is going to be on. I like to leave that on at all times. I just like to be safe with that. I think it helps with the alignment. Some people disagree with me, but I like to keep it on. Auto alignment is going to be set to default. And the reason why is because I have tried all of the other alignment rules and I've ran into alignment problems with them. The only formation that gives default alignment issues, at least from my research so far, has been the U-Trips out of the New England Patriots ebook that I wrote. And most people don't run it, and if they do run it, there is some adjustments that you can do to deal with that situation. Ball and air defense, I put these on play receiver, and here's why. There's certain situations and animations that are going to trigger. And what we want to do is have when the computer is always when the computer is making the play, we want him to always play receiver. The reason why is it's going to lead to natural um, basically the, the ball. Sometimes receivers will drop them randomly, sometimes the receivers will kind of glitch out. It helps a lot in these in these two man uh, in these two man catch animations. Okay? Cornerback matchups. I'm gonna put these. Um, I'm gonna put these on balance. The reason why, once again, I've tried all kinds of different things here, um, and the reason why I stick with balance. I have had so many issues with any of these other ones, like alignment problems. When I audible from man to zone, things run wrong. Like those are all issues that I run into. So. For right now, I'm leaving these on balance because I just think it's easier to adjust when you can audible to a from a man coverage to a zone coverage and not have issues. Okay, uh, option defense is on conservative. The reason why is because when most people are going to run the read option, it's because they are more than likely wanting to try to run with the quarterback. So we're going to put that on conservative, and with this defense, you can blow up most inside zones in the game. These are both on balance, um, mainly so I don't get any penalties. Uh, and then here, this is the key here. So um, flats, I leave everything on default, and I just put the curl flats on 25 right now. Now, sometimes I'll put these on 5. Um, if they're throwing a lot of underneath stuff, I'll put that on 5. If they're not, then I'll leave it on default. For these, um, sometimes I'll flip these, you know, depending, and I'll do something like this. Uh, but most of the time, it's like this, okay, almost all the time. Okay. So that being said, here's the defense, and this is why it's so good. So nickel 335, as you take a look here, that's three linemen, three linebackers, and five corners. There's a package uh, within the nickel sets that is basically called the sub-linebacker package, which what it means is you can sub safeties in at the linebacker position. And so what I want to do is I want to do just that. So I'm going to go through my roster here, and I'm going to put corners at the corner position, obviously, um, so I'm going to put Holman here, I'm going to put Perry Nickerson on the outside, and then I'm going to put Kevin King and Josh Jackson in at safety, and then Jair Alexander here. That frees up my safeties to now be put at linebacker. So I'm going to put Savage at the middle linebacker as my user, I'm going to put Adrian Amos as the weak side linebacker, and then the strong side linebacker, I'm going to make that uh, Will Redmond. Okay, all of these guys have over 90 speed, which is really, really important because that not only are they going to animate better, they're going to catch picks better, but they're also going to play coverage better. Then I'm going to have Zadarius Smith. I like to put Zadarius Smith on the weak side of the defense just to kind of help it out. And then I'm going to have Rashawn Gary right here and Kenny Clark right here. 
So that's my lineup. A lot of people ask me about that question. Now, I'm going to go in between these three formations right here. Now, so far, we've only talked about these two. I haven't spent a ton of time talking about Nickel Normal, but rest assured, Nickel Normal is actually very similar to Big Nickel over G. Big Nickel over G may be a little bit better, but Nickel Normal is still a very good formation. So uh, we'll be using some of Nickel Normal in this scheme, but really what we want to do is our 335 wide, we want to set up our audible. So I like to put the Mike Blitz 3 in there and the Cover 4 Show 2 as my kind of core audibles. And then I will typically come out in Cover 4 uh, every single play. And then this way basically I have all the coverages at my disposal so I can audible into all these different shells really, really, really fast and basically make adjustments from there. This is critical when you're trying to stop something like the Gun Bunch. The Gun Bunch is one of the best offenses in the entire game. Now, that being said, let's dive into um, one of my favorite defenses right now uh, in the game, and that's the Cover 4. Uh, and the reason why I like the Cover 4 so much is because the outside quarters are playing really, really well. The inside quarters are playing really, really well, uh, in my opinion. So here's the simple setup. All you're going to do is you're going to spread audible to Cover 4, um, from the 335 wide, you're going to spread your line, you're going to crash your line out, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to work, right? You're going to start adjusting people. So you always want to blitz your user. It's like the most important thing I can tell you about defense. And what I like to do is I like to shade my coverage down when I play this defense. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop two vertical hooks. So I'm going to put the left side guy in a, ver in a vertical hook, and I'm going to put the right side guy in a vertical hook. I do that through the, the individual adjustments that you can see here. Uh, excuse me, on the screen. So what you'll find out is what that does is now when people try to go, you're going to notice here that this corner route that a lot of people like to throw, including myself, is now no longer an option. There's no there, Corner routes are dead when you run this defense, at least in my opinion. Um, this defense gives corner routes a really hard time because the outside quarters will play them uh, relatively well. Now, the next thing that you're going to see here is basically we have really good middle coverage. You see, we, we can take hitches on both sides. We can take curls. Uh, we do a pretty good job. The one thing that I think is the hardest to stop uh, from this specific defense is uh, even crossing routes. Like these outside quarters, what you'll notice, these outside quarters will actually do a pretty good job. Like if I run a, if I just run a, a, standard, a standard crossing route here, these outside quarters will do okay. They won't do great, but they'll do okay. And uh, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's say let's let's do like kind of the old adage setup here, something like this, you know, something like this right here, right? This is a a, a common a common setup, right? So you'll see this right here. And if you take a look at this outside quarter, if there's nothing deep over the top, he'll kind of be in the area. He may not stop it, but he'll kind of at least be in the area. So what you could also do out of this is to create kind of a man version co co uh, complement to this, uh, a cross man version complement. So what I like to do here is this is where I'll do some cross manning. So I will always, 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 always uh, cross man. So we're going to play our hard flats on the outside. But now what we can do is we can basically cross man. So I can take the, the defensive end on the outside and put him in man coverage on the tight end. And then I can put the outside linebacker in man coverage on the running back. So now everything's cross man. So if they cross, there's not really an opportunity for them to be successful. So let's say they run that same setup. Right, something like this. Snap of the ball. And what you'll see is this cross man gives me inside leverage. And again, you know, that's a click on, you know, swat or, or something like that. But you can do that. Um, another thing that I like to do, let's say it's in like long yardage situations, I'll audible to this defense right here, and I'll shade coverage down and shade coverage up. Now this is the reason why I don't uh, change my flats, because I can play hard flats, I could also play cloud flats, and these cloud flats will go at about, you know, four, uh, or I'm sorry, about ten yards, that ten yard threshold we were talking about. So you see, they'll drop back, they'll play these C routes, they'll play corner routes. They'll play stuff like that, and this is a good, um, you know, a good defense to have. They'll give up the flat, obviously, but it'll be a good defense to have, like, for third and 15 or something like that. So, anyways, that's a little bit about the cover four. Um, there's more to come on this cover four defense. Um, I think this cover four is actually super, super effective. One of the other things that I actually really, you know, and this is really, really adjusty, but one of the other things that I really like to do is I like to take these safeties and basically man them up on the outside guys. And then essentially cross man, um, 
essentially cross man everybody. So you have this look right here, and then we have basically that purple zone on the outside. We have the two middle coverages taken care of, right? But now we have a purple that's shaded at 25, so the left side's pretty much, or the bunch side's pretty much bagged. And then all we've got to worry about is some kind of post route over the middle of the field. I mean, you see right here, we just have to take the deep middle away. But as you can see, these outside quarters, I think they're going to make a comeback. I think you're going to see people start using this cover four defense. Um, cover four is really, really good. People just don't know how to use it. So thanks for watching this game or this uh, video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you got something out of it. Now, really quickly before I take off, I want to remind you, if you want to get that 335 wide defense, text me. My number's in the description. It's also on the top left-hand corner of your screen. Text me for a free sample. And if you want to get the full defense, my complete 335 wide defensive ebook that link is in the description people say that it is one of the best defenses that they've ever ever used in any level of madden very very good defense so make sure to pick that up if you haven't already people have been having a lot of success with it that link is in the description if you have any questions about anything that we talked about text me and just a quick reminder if you want to get defense that link is in the description of this video